Amazon has a problem on their hands. It wasn't that long ago when this giant site was in its infancy. They helped pave the way for e-commerce during the dot-com rush in the 1990s and would transform the way people shop. A new way to purchase books online was the idea. But one thing stood out and helped set themselves apart from the competition. A simple way for consumers to rate their book they purchased, the product review. This company, Amazon.com, Earth's biggest bookstore. You can't drop by, not in person anyway. For the customer, Amazon only exists on the computer screen. I know it seems strange to think that customers posting reviews for books could be something considered novel, but in 1995, it was exactly that. In a down and dirty negative ad campaign, Barnes & Noble is reminding readers it has many more books to offer than Amazon. Online shopping was just beginning, and Amazon was one of the first to add this feature to their new bookstore. Whether negative or positive, people were skeptical about the idea, but it didn't matter to them. As you can expect, book publishers immediately pushed back, citing that negative reviews could impact their sales. A survey done by Podium suggests that 93% of all online shoppers surveyed said that reviews affect their purchases online. Amazon.com is suing a thousand people. What could go wrong? There are a lot of things sold on Amazon. The company currently sells around 12 million different products, but the vast majority of the items are from third-party vendors. An estimated 350 million different SKUs are sold, making Amazon more of a marketplace than an online retailer. A large percentage of these items are sold under the Amazon FBA model, where a company sends an item to Amazon to be stored and shipped from their warehouse. This is why you'll see sold by insert random company name and fulfilled by Amazon for so many of their prime items. One of the key factors to the success of an item is the reviews. The more positive the reviews, the better an item ranks in the search algorithm. And here is where the main problem lies. The search rewards bad practices and incentivizes cheating. If an item isn't seen, then it's hard to get sales on that platform, which is why companies will go extreme length to improve their rankings. Amazon does not directly promote this, and in fact has cracked down on the fake slash bot reviews over the years. But when an item on Amazon's success is rated so heavily based on search results and not the quality of the product, there will be people who adapt and find new ways to manipulate their search results. In the world of Amazon, there are two things that everyone knows. Reviews equals sales. Um, and the sellers are newly joined the Amazon. If they don't do this, if they don't, they don't uh, ask him for fake reviews, they will be, you know, they, they will get no sales, they will get no good outcomes. Mm -hmm. So they have to do this. That brings us to the wireless earbuds, Nexus Bluetooth 5.0 earbud headphones, true wireless stereo earphones with 30 hours playtime, hi-fi sound, Bluetooth headset with charging case, one-step pairing. They just shove as many keywords in there as possible to help with the item rank. This is a normal listing. At the top, you have the title, various photos, a pretty good description of what you'll be buying. And if you look at the reviews, they all seem pretty good. There's a large number of five-star reviews, which isn't necessarily a red flag. And then I came upon this reviewer. The only relevant statements are that they fit well, sound is fine, built well, and work good. Didn't realize that that many people review a lot of items on Amazon. They have a ranking system of all the reviews on the site where you can actually click through them and see what people review. And this person was not an exception. He had a total of 140 reviews, mostly positive, and that's fine. People can review what they wish and it's really sort of a thankless endeavor to write them. But as I kept scrolling, more and more wireless earbuds kept popping up. From 2019 to May 2020, this person reviewed 10 different Bluetooth headphones the selling policy and seller code of conduct states that a seller may not pay for or offer an incentive such as coupons or free products in exchange for providing or removing feedback. There are many uh, groups in the Facebook on other social medias uh, named uh, like uh, USA Reviews or uh, German Reviews group like that. And uh, the sellers will join, join those groups and uh, um, the, the customers will also join the group to get free items. Um, so the sellers will post uh, in the groups and uh, post the picture of the products 
And uh, yeah, if you have interest in it, then you send a personal message to the seller and uh, then discuss the uh, like real program. You'll first get a message from a seller with images of products they are offering. After selecting the product, the seller will often give you search terms for instructions. This helps to trick Amazon into thinking that you are an authentic shopper looking for an item. Then comes a review. Make sure you leave five stars and use some keywords in your selling points. After the review, you'll contact the seller through Facebook and request the refund with PayPal fees. And now it's a waiting game. Just hope that the seller will keep their end of the bargain because if they don't, there's not much you can do about it. Habitable. You have to recognize the, what, is the, what is real reviews and what is fake. In June of 2020, Amazon announced a new counterfeit crimes unit, which is set to increase the $500 million fraud budget it spent in 2019. Amazon claims their fraud program suspended 2.5 million bad actors and prevented 6 billion bad listings on their site. And this new unit will further expand the takedown of bad listings. With Amazon charging 15% for everything sold, they are directly benefiting from the practices of sellers on their platform, giving them little incentive to intervene unless it's noticeably harming customers. So we're left with an everything store filled with deceptive sellers and a system that rewards people who manipulate listings for better ranking and sales for items we probably didn't need in the first place. Uh, but I, I'm trying to, if, if possible, because uh, I really need to work from work, work, work at home to take care of my uh, great grandparents. Uh, this is my family issues. I have to work on the city, and uh, um, they ha they have very uh, terrible health uh, health problems. So, but uh, lacking of good lacking of care, you know. Uh, so uh, this is why I'm trying to find big reviewers because um, I want to be an agent sometime. Maybe uh, at the end of this year, I want to go back to home and uh, maybe if possible, I quit my job and be an agent and uh, stay at home and uh, take, take care of my family, you know. Uh, this is a very difficult topic to talk about so uh, no my, my language my 